Lost space capsule found after 50 years. Researchers are stunned by what's inside. An amateur satellite image analyst, a man who explores the world from his computer screen, received a strange, anonymous, and encrypted email. It contained nothing but a single string of geographic coordinates, a random point in the middle of the vast, empty wilderness of the Siberian taiga. When he entered the coordinates into his mapping software, he discovered a bizarre, perfectly circular anomaly on the forest floor that shouldn't be there. This single, cryptic message was the beginning of an obsessive quest that would lead him on a real-life expedition into one of the most remote places on Earth. And what he would find there was a ghost from the height of the Cold War, a lost secret from the Soviet space race that had been waiting in the silent forest for over 50 years. But before we start our story, smash that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and hit that notifications bell so you won't miss any of our new, incredible stories. To understand the incredible object that was waiting to be discovered, we must first travel back to the most ambitious and high-stakes technological race in human history, the space race. In the 1960s, the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a titanic struggle for supremacy, and the ultimate prize was the moon. While the world watched the triumphant public successes of the American Apollo program, the Soviet Union was running its own, deeply secret, and often disastrous lunar program. The Soviets were masters of secrecy. Their successes, like Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin, were broadcast to the world as proof of communist superiority. But their failures were ruthlessly erased from history. Dozens of missions went wrong, with rockets exploding on the launch pad or probes veering off course into deep space. These failures were never acknowledged, their existence denied. One of the key parts of the Soviet lunar effort was a series of unmanned probes called the Zond missions, which were designed to orbit the Moon, take high-resolution photographs of its surface, especially the mysterious far side. These were incredibly complex and dangerous missions. Some of the Zond probes successfully circled the Moon, but then missed the Earth on their return journey. Others crash-landed back on Earth in remote, inaccessible locations like the Indian Ocean or, as in our story, the vast, empty wilderness of Siberia. If the recovery teams couldn't find a crashed capsule within a short period, it was often declared lost forever. Its precious cargo of scientific data and Cold War secrets abandoned to the elements. Our story's protagonist is a man we'll call Alex, a modern-day digital explorer. He was not a traditional archaeologist. His tools were not shovels and brushes but a high-powered computer and a subscription to satellite imagery services. He spent his nights scouring the globe from his home office, looking for strange patterns and anomalies that might point to undiscovered ruins or forgotten historical sites. One evening, he received the anonymous, encrypted email. It contained only the coordinates. His first thought was that it was a prank or a virus. But his curiosity got the better of him he entered the coordinates into his mapping software. The location was in the heart of the Siberian taiga, hundreds of miles from the nearest town or road. He zoomed in, and there, in the high-resolution satellite image, he saw it. The trees were smaller, and he could clearly see the distinct, spherical, bell-like shape of a space capsule. He realized, with a jolt of pure excitement, what he was looking at. It was the crash site of a lost spacecraft. He shared his findings with a small, trusted online community of space history enthusiasts and amateur satellite archaeologists like himself. The evidence was so compelling that they decided to pool their resources, raising thousands of dollars to fund a small, private expedition to find out what was really there. Alex and a small team of three other enthusiasts found themselves in a rugged, all-terrain vehicle driving for days into the vast, unforgiving wilderness of the Siberian taiga. After leaving the vehicle, they had to hike for two more days, using GPS to navigate through the dense, swampy forest. Finally, they arrived at the coordinates from the mysterious email. The clearing was just as the satellite images had shown. It was the charred, heat-shielded, and unmistakably spherical shape of a Soviet-era Vostok or Soyuz-type descent module. The Cyrillic lettering of the CCCP was still faintly visible on its side, beneath the decades of decay. They had found a ghost from the space race, but the main hatch was sealed shut, rusted tight by 50 years of Siberian winters. The real mystery, the one they had traveled thousands of miles to solve, was what or who was inside. Standing in the profound silence of the Siberian taiga, 
The four explorers were now faced with the most critical and difficult challenge of their mission – getting inside the capsule. The main hatch was sealed tight. For the next several hours, they engaged in a painstaking and exhausting process, using a combination of portable power cutters and heavy-duty crowbars to slowly, carefully work their way around the hatches scene. The ancient seal broke. A faint hiss of stale, canned air, the capsule's last breath from the 1960s, they peered inside. The first thing they realized, the interior was a dense, complex web of 1960s-era Soviet technology wires, control panels, and scientific instruments. And in the center of the capsule were the mission's film cassettes. This was a discovery of immense historical and scientific importance. The film canisters inside this lost Soviet capsule were a true time capsule, a priceless record of a mission that the world never knew had succeeded. The team carefully extracted the heavy, sealed film canister from the capsule. As they did, Alex noticed something else. A simple, leather-bound book. The final, hastily scribbled entries told a dramatic and tragic story. The mission had been a success. The probe had orbited the moon, and all its cameras had functioned perfectly. But on its return to Earth, a malfunction during the fiery re-entry process had sent the capsule off course, causing it to crash land hundreds of miles from its intended recovery zone in Kazakhstan. The final entry was a simple, heartbreaking calculation from the Soviet ground controllers. Landing site unknown. Capsule and data presumed lost. With their incredible prize in hand, the team began their long and difficult journey back out of the Siberian wilderness. As they left, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of one final lingering mystery – the anonymous email. The coordinates had not just been for the general area, they had been for the exact, precise location of the capsule. Whoever the secret tipper was, they had known exactly where to send him. Was it a former KGB officer, now an old man, who had been part of the original, failed recovery effort and wanted the mission's success to finally be known? Was it the child of one of the original mission scientists? fulfilling a parent's last wish? The identity of the person who had set this entire incredible discovery in motion remained a complete and profound mystery. Back in the civilized world, the film canisters were handed over to a professional film restoration laboratory. The process of developing 50-year-old, potentially radiation-damaged film was incredibly delicate. But when the first images were finally developed and scanned, they were breathtaking. They were stunningly clear high-resolution photographs of the far side of the moon, revealing craters and geological features in a level of detail that had never been seen from that early era of space exploration. The lost Soviet mission, a secret, tragic failure in its day, had just been posthumously transformed into a monumental scientific success. The photos were eventually shared with the world, a priceless gift of knowledge from a bygone era of secret competition. The story of the discovery is a powerful testament to a new age of exploration, an age where a single, curious individual with a computer can team up with a global community to solve a decades-old mystery. And it is a profound reminder that the great, empty wildernesses of our planet still hold the forgotten ghosts of our own history, waiting silently for a cryptic email and a determined explorer to bring their incredible stories back into the light.